If your Windows hard drive is about to be full, it is actually better to delete just a few of the largest files that occupies your drive than trying to delete hundreds of smaller files. And so in this video, we'll learn about a tool called Winderstat, which is a free tool. It actually scans your hard drive and gives you the statistics about your hard drive uh, based upon the folders and also based upon the extension. And so you can easily see which file is occupying the maximum space. And as you use this tool, you'll be surprised to find some of the older files that has been using a lot of space on your hard drive. So let's learn about Windows stat. Hello friends, this is Amit. Uh, we have all seen this message, right? When your hard drive is about to be full and the Windows or Mac will give you a notification that you need to clean up some of the, the space on your hard drive. So here is an example. My hard drive is, even though it's kind of a small, it's about to be full. Now, no matter how large your hard drive is, at some point you will come across a time where it's about to be full. And so in, in cases like that, there are different ways in which you can quickly clean up some of the, uh, some of the clutter that probably you would have uh, you know, stored in your C drive uh, over the years. And so there are different ways to do that. Uh, Windows do allow uh, a feature where you can clean up some, uh, some of those clutter but there is another tool that is free. Uh, it is an open source uh, and it is in incredibly useful uh, to clean up some of those largest files that occupies the space on your hard drive. Now this tool is called Winderstat, which is kind of a hard name, but basically it's Windows Directory Statistics uh, is the name of this tool. It is free, it is open source, and uh, we are going to take a look at that today. Uh, and so let's go through these uh, quick questions so what is it used for and so obviously it is used to clean up the space on your hard drive you can actually specify a full hard drive or you can even specify a particular folder to know how much space does it contain now it helps you to actually visually see the the space on your hard drive and so it can be very easy to identify uh, some of the largest or biggest file uh, and try to clean those up and as we have seen or as we know, you know, it's better to clean just few biggest files rather than trying to delete so many smaller files. And I have seen that many people try to clean up some of the files that they have and, you know, it takes forever. And in the end, you barely, you know, get back or gain uh, a drive space because you are just cleaning some of the small file. And so it is better to clean much larger files uh, and then get back that big space. So how it is used? As I said, you can use it on uh, entire hard drive, whether you have a multiple drive like a C drive, D drive, or you can even use a specific folder that you know contain a lot of big files. And so let's go ahead and, and first of all install Windows Stat, and then we will go through that. So downloading and installing Windows Stat is pretty simple. You go to Google, you search for Windows Stat, and usually it shows up right at the top. Uh, here is windowsstat.net. So let's go to the website go to downloads and they have specified a place where you can download it so let's go to this one and let's go to the download section which should be uh, right here now sometimes the site may have some ads so uh, just follow this instruction and that should take you as you can see it is a very small file and doesn't contain any unusual stuff or any spywares and anything it's a pretty simple file so i'm going to click installer and right here is the installer it's downloaded so i'm going to install that and so click accept go next and let's just check through this if you want different language you can pick that i'm going to keep everything as defaults and go next so it will be installed in c program files x86 and windows stat folder and click install and next and open <clears throat> so now we have installed windows stat and so we are going to use this to check the statistics on our hard drive so as i said you can pick your c drive or d drive or both of them or you can even pick a particular folder so if i have a specific folder in mind for example let's say i want to just look at the downloads folder only i can pick that also so in our case, because my hard drive is about to be full, as you can see, it's 95% full, I'm going to pick that and I'm going to run this. And so I pick C drive, click OK. And 
it will take just a little bit of time depending upon the size of your hard drive uh, to scan through the whole thing and give you a statistics so I'm going to pause the video and once it's done uh, I'll bring it back it doesn't take a whole lot but you know it does take a little bit of time to scan through the whole uh, whole hard drive so let's pause the video all right so it is about to be finished you can see that it took about two minutes to scan 120 gigabyte hard drive in your case it might take longer depending upon the size and also the speed of your hard drive I have a SSD which is a solid state drive so it does take a little quicker but this is just one time thing and I think you should let this do it do do its thing uh, because you will see once it's done you can see the whole scan of your hard drive and so it should be done pretty soon it's 120 so we are about to be finished and then it will show you like a nice tile kind of interface in which you can see which files are taking the biggest space on your hard drive and so all right so it is done so this is how it looks it actually gives you uh, a pretty nice view of what kind of files there are which is taking the, the largest space uh, what folders are taking the biggest space on your hard drive and then sort of a visual guide or interface where you can see so let's first look at the folders and so for example uh, the users folder is taking up to 76 gigabyte of the total hard drive space and you can see right here these are the all the files that are contained in the user folder windows is another folder now a caution uh, windows folder is windows operating system folder so you should never delete those it is usually recommended that you delete your own private or personal files not just windows file uh, because if you do that you may have some uh, unintended results and your windows may not work so be careful deleting those dlls or some of those windows related files. so i would not even touch windows uh, folder uh, but like you can see under win users as you go on you can see that you know there are different uh, names and it contains or different folders that contains all these size okay so on the the right hand side you can see uh, what uh, what are the sizes of files based upon the extension so there are DLLs which is a Windows operating system files that takes about 18 gigabyte of the, the total size so again those you should not touch but this mp4 which is a video file and so that takes about 8 gigabyte of space and so that might be something that you probably you would like to clean up because you know there might be some videos old videos that you may have in your drive which you probably forgot about it and that is taking a huge space so you can delete some of these and you can get those space back and then here is actually by far the most useful part of this window stat and that's actually uh, this the file based upon the size of the rectangle and so if I click you can see that this file there is one file that I have is already pretty big and so I'm going to click on it and as I click it will tell me exactly where that file is located and what is the size so I'm going to click here and you can see that this is my actually uh, email address and this is a 16 gig of my email sort of file is just a single file now I'm not going to delete this because that is something that I do want it but as you can see that if there is a file on your hard drive that is taking a large space you can easily delete that and that will take care of everything and you don't have to worry about deleting you know hundreds of thousands of smaller files uh, let's take a look at this one also so I'm going to click on here and right here is a good example because you can see that there is some download that I was doing and I stopped the download but it still kept those sort of incomplete download in in this drive so I'm going to go and delete this so there are multiple ways to delete it so you can even open that folder so I'm going to click on explore here I just right click and it will take me right there and I'm going to click on this uh, space or, or sorted by space and then you can see here is that file that was incomplete but it is taking 5 gigabyte of space so I can easily delete this so I'm going to right click and click delete and of course it's going to ask me and I know that this is a file that I don't need okay so click OK in fact this uh, I have a Mac also and I was trying to install some uh, some operating system Mac OS on this so this is a 4 gigabyte of file which I don't really need so I can delete that as well so delete click yes <coughs> right and 
I'm going to clean up the the recycle bin because it went to the recycle bin. So here is my recycle bin. I'm going to empty that because otherwise it will still show that space. Okay, and that's gone. And so now, even though this is showing me that there are, there are those files, if I right click on this folder, and I'm going to click rescan or refresh, and so it is going to show me a new sort of uh, statistics without these two large files. Okay, so I'm going to click refresh, and it'll take just a little bit of time, and it shows me now it's much better. It's just one gigabyte rather than if you remember it was taking a lot of space, and if I go back to my C drive. You can see I already have 14 gig. If you remember, I only had about five gig left. So I already gained what 10 gig in just by deleting just two files. And so that is the advantage of this sort of uh, uh, a software because once you know, once it scans the whole hard drive, you can actually find the the largest files. Uh, you can open them in their folders, and you can clean them if it is not useful or it is something that you don't need. You can even also look at those files by types. And so if I go back to our Windows stat and you know that there are video files or there are songs or MP3s or there are zip files that are, you know, probably taking a lot of space, you can click on that and then you can see it actually shows me where these files are. So right here and then some of the other ones. So in fact, let's click on this. So I'm going to click on this and it'll tell me where this file is located. And uh, it's about 120 MB. So if I know that I don't need this file, I can delete it. In fact, this is one of the things that I downloaded, so I don't really need. I'm going to delete that, and, and I can do it right from here also. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say delete no way to undelete. Basically, it won't put it into recycle bin. And so it's always good to put it to recycle bin so that you can restore it. But if there are files that you know that you really are never going to you know get it back or don't really need it, then you don't need to send it to recycle bin. So I'm going to click here and it always you know, brings up the, are you sure what you're going to do because you won't be able to retrieve it back. It also gives you this notification, don't delete those system files. So of course this is not a system file. So I'm going to click yes. And it says, are you sure you want to delete? Yes. And it will refresh that folder and so on. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's go back here. And so let's take a look at this file because there's this particular file that is really large. So let's click on that. So this is 3.5 gigabyte and this is a page file dot sys or sys or system. Now one caution, I also mentioned that earlier that you have to be careful when you uh, delete some of the system files. And so this page file is when your computer all of a sudden crashes, it keeps some of those stuff in the memory and so on without going too much into technical details. And so you will always, when you scan it, you will always have one or two files that are the largest. One is page file.sys and then there is a hibernate. Probably this one is the hibernate or maybe not this one, but there are other uh, files rel related to hibernation. So those are when you put your computer into a sleep mode or hibernate mode, it keeps those files. And so those are usually pretty large files, uh, but those are Windows files, so you should not delete it. Uh, but there are ways to reduce the size of that and that won't be a part of this video but you can google and see how you can reduce you know page file or, or hibernate file and you can do that but try to avoid those i think the key uh, use of this window stat is to find the largest personal files and nowadays with all our you know phones and videos and and images there are tons of those those stuff on our hard drive that are taking a large space and so this uh, this software allows you to quickly you know, delete those and bring back some of the space that probably you are looking for. And so again, just go through this. Uh, it's really useful uh, tool. It's free. And as you saw, it doesn't have any unusual stuff. And it's very easy and simple to use. So I hope you will be able to, you know, restore some of the stuff from your hard drive and get those space back. So that's about Windows that it is usually used to find the largest sort of file or folders that occupies your space on hard drive and you can quickly retrieve some of those space back by deleting a large set of files or large largest files and so i hope you like this video if you did uh, click on the like button and check out some of the other videos that i have made for uh you know the must have tools for anybody especially for developers and so if you like the content that i'm making make sure that you subscribe to my channel i post new videos almost every week 
And so if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get notified. All right. Thanks.